All right. Look, um, I want to make a quick video in less than five minutes about what evil actually rules the world. And what we can do about it, right? So basically, we have the Jesuit Zionist conspiracy that we're dealing with, which is the remnants of the ancient Roman Empire and their amassed plunders of war, wealth, and power, which then morphed into the Roman Catholic Church, which then morphed into Jesuitism, which has taken over and is ruling the whole world in a cruel and oppressive way with the fascist formula and a manifest destiny. And they really have taken over every nation on earth virtually, if not literally, except maybe three or five nations, depending on who you source. Uh, but the point is that they have an evil end time global depopulation plan that we're watching unfold and furthermore they want to take it up a notch with Armageddon or a similar simulated event in Israel and then World War III unrestrained as a response. Uh, we can't allow this to happen and the way we solve this is with the historical example of the Carnation Revolution of Portugal 1974, which was a peaceful surprise military coup followed by military tribunals for absolute fascists who deserved it. Don't let some of these documentaries on the YouTube that tell you it was communism that was thwarted. <laughs> That's Jesuits trying to rewrite history. It was Jesuit order fascism. And uh, they, people of Portugal overcame it and expelled it from a virtually all Catholic country, which is notable. Okay, so uh, don't say it can't be done, and don't tell me it's not constitutional, because actually, when your government has gone rogue, fascist, out of control, then don't expect your media, and certainly not your government, to declare it. It's up to us, the people, and we need to do it peacefully and in unity and with dignity and not become like them ever is the main objective. We have to ask for professional help. It's the only way to get the military-industrial complex gone rogue, get their fingers and hands off the levers and buttons of the apparatus of the fascist machine because it's scary and it's bigger than just the military. But the military are the people that we need to free themselves and us, the citizens, from absolute fascism. And furthermore, we need the military as they are taking control to test certain key leaders for the antibodies to this novel coronavirus because it looks like a bioweapon and no viral bioweapon is made without a 
vaccine to go alongside of it. Otherwise, it would be useless as a bioweapon. So it would follow that certain people have been pre-vaccinated, and it would be good to catch them red-handed. So there it is. In a nutshell, this is what we need. Okay? God save us all. And you can love God, country, and Jesus still also and want to hold the Jesuit order accountable for their history, current actions, and future plans, which are truly horrible. It's okay to want justice. It's enough. And we don't engage in emotions of anger or hatred, which are unhealthy and destructive. Wanting justice is enough. Now let's do this. And let's let our voices be unified and heard quickly. Because we are truly running out of time.